Saturday morning, the weekend's here. Kicking it off with espresso. Now, I did a hefty bit of back squatting yesterday. For me, it was the hardest set of back squats I ever did in my life to date. It was three sets of eight reps at 90% of your one rep max. Now, my one rep max has not been the greatest. It's 150 kilos um, on the back squat. Never was the strongest, but I've been working on it to try and get it up. So this was uh, week four, day two of an eight week back, back squat cycle. And uh, oh, yesterday was, was definitely tough. But um, got that done, and the day now, Saturday, back to regular training. I'm gonna start off with some push jerks from behind the neck in the split position. We're gonna do some power cleaning jerks. We'll do some deficit clean pulls. And then we get into the workout then with deadlift, hang power cleans, push jerks, rope climbs, and double unders. Then at the very end then we have some 2k row conditioning. I plan to retest my 2k row in about three weeks time. So this is kind of like the first out of three iterations on that uh, gearing towards retest in three weeks. And what we'll be doing here is 10 rounds of 500 meters on and one minute rest between 500 meters. That's the plan for the day and we'll get started. Right, so we're kicking off with the push jerk behind the neck and the split. This is for quality, not load. You can either take the bar from the rack or the floor, whatever you like. The focus here in the push jerk uh, behind the neck and the split is to help strengthen the split position and it reinforces the proper position and the balance whenever you're in the split. And that should be equal between the both feet. This is also going to strengthen and reinforce the overhead position for the jerk. Focus on getting into an even split position with the weight equally distributed on your both feet. From there, focus on a strong punch out overhead and the bar should end up directly over the middle of your head or slightly behind. Those behind the neck push jerks are just used as a warm up. Now keep them at light weights. I just built across the five sets, went from 35 through to 50, and it's just enough to get warmed up. Now we're going to power cleans and push jerks. Right, so moving into a power clean and push jerk complex. We're doing five sets of three power cleans plus one push jerk, and all these sets are going to be performed at 80% 100 max clean and jerk. For me, that left me doing this complex at 88 kilo. For your warm up on this, you could perform two to three warm up sets at about Cleaning jerks done. Um, we bit softened some of the jerks overhead, need to be a wee bit sharper on that. Um, but other than that, not too bad. Clean pulls next on the deficit. The deficit clean pull serves the same purpose as a regular clean pull, but the deficit further strengthens the legs for the pull from the floor as you have to pull the bar a greater distance. Perform the reps in singles, but control the barbell on the way back down to the ground each rep instead of dropping it from the top. From there, we can do a full reset before the next pull. There should be a hard extension to finish the movement. Elbows may bend slightly, but don't intentionally bend your elbows and pull up on the bar. That's the clean pulls done. Now get ready now and get into the workout. Strip that bar down. I've done them pulls at 120. Now we'll strip it back down to 70 kilo for this workout. Uh, we've got deadlifts, hang power cleans, push jerks and rope climbs, and double unders through in the middle as well. Right, moving into the workout. The first part, four deadlifts, three hang power cleans, two push jerks. I went unbroken on all these for every round. For the rope climbs, focus on taking as little pulls as possible to get up the rope each round. Does it require us to be a little bit more patient with each clamp to be sure our feet don't slide as we stand. If the double unders tend to tire you out, let's plan some breaks.
there are lots of transition between the bar and the rope in this workout so see how quick we can get our hands on the barbell after each rope climb this will be important That's the workout done, that was, that was good, it was hot. I had like a wee bit of a niggle up here on my shoulder from a strict pressing last night. I didn't warm up into the strict pressing, that's exactly what happened. So there's like a wee, a wee twinge here, but felt it tight after the first set of double unders and then did the deadlifts all right. And then whenever it came to that hang, power cleans in, I just felt it kind of pull in, so it was kind of sore. But other than that, everything went great, like it's a good workout. Whew, right. We will um, get a wee bit of food on board here now and rest for a while. 10 o'clock class is coming in, get them set up for the workout. Now I'll get into that rowing piece after the 10 rounds of fat under. If you have ever in your life done anything as rotten as rowing intervals 500s on one minute off, you'll be a good night. That was, that was horrendous, absolutely horrendous. I suppose it's as hard as you make it like, but I did try and make it hard. Like it did give a good solid effort every time. Like, oh, that was tough. That was my splits here, 145, 140, 152, 145, 147, 148, 146, 145, 145. Now them split times are by no means the fastest about, but having not done 500 meter intervals at that intensity for a while, that's just my starting point. As I say, this is three weeks now before I uh, test the 2K row again, so that's what we're starting with. 